Yeah. <laughs> Uh, intent, the state of mind accompanying an act, especially a forbidden act? Yes. <laughs> While motive is the inducement to do some act, intent is the mental resolution or determination to do it. Yes. <laughs> you know, um, I, I really don't understand why you intend to fail at enforcing the laws of the United States. I document that there's forgeries, there's fraud, there's violating of civil rights, <laughs> that um, there's numerous RCW violations, there are federal law violations, yeah. and you sit there and your intent is your mental resolution, right, mm -hmm. mental resolution and determination is to violate the laws. In fact, worse than that, to fail to uh, enforce the laws. <laughs> now, I know you're one of these idiot police officers. You're a fucking idiot. The only reason you have a badge and a gun is to enforce the law, you stupid fuck. <laughs> you're an idiot. Well, I'm the failure, All right. For two years and 11 months, I've informed the port... Townsend Police Department, the Port Angeles Police Department, and the Swim Police Department that it violates the civil rights of myself, my sons, and the petitioner to have a court that motions themselves and then decides to issue court orders using forgeries. Poof. Now exactly who's the fucking idiot? You are. You determined to fail and enforcing the laws of the United States. I'm the one that's had to endure your failure. Poo. For two years and 11 months, I've had to live with the failures that call themselves law enforcement. <laughs> now, you intended to fail at enforcing the laws. You made up a crime in Squim, Washington where I wasn't there. <laughs> Your whole resolution and determination was to find me guilty of a crime I didn't commit. <sighs> and then instead of acknowledging the actual uh, job description of law enforcement, you decided you'd be a failure. <coughs> now, why are you still employed? Why does the Swim Police Department have any police officers at this very moment? As failures, uh -huh. your mental resolution and determination was to fail at enforcing the law. I told you for two years and 11 months. <laughs> now, you obviously don't understand that the only reason that you're employed was to enforce the laws of the state of Washington Yes, <laughs> federal laws, mm -hmm. the Constitution of the state of Washington, <laughs> every Constitution of the United States and the United States Constitution. <laughs> now, this willfully and corruptly intent of those in office to violate, as in fail, at what their oath of office obligates of them. <laughs> means that I can actually sue each and every oath of office in this nation for being failures to their oath of office. <laughs> now, they've intended. I know you're upset about this, but you're going to lose everything you own and you're going to prison. <laughs> and as much as you thought, well, we'll completely ignore two million emails. Right. We'll make up a crime on December 31st of 2015 where we know... Uh -huh, the defendant wasn't there. <laughs> and then we will violate his right to a speedy trial. And we'll put him in jail for 27 days. Yes. We'll employ some person that's not an actual professional person. Yes. To do an interview in 25 minutes that says the guy is... You intended to put me in a mental institution for a crime I did not commit. Ouch! Do you not see a crime in that? Do you not see? Oh, do I see some Nazis in police departments right now? Now, let's look at the Nazi. What did we not see? Ooch. You make up crimes? 
Yes. Mm -hmm. There's what's known as the hypothetical person defense. Yes. An entrapment defense in which the defendant asserts that an undercover law enforcement or person acting at the law enforcement officer's direction encouraged the defendant to engage in criminal conduct either by making false representations or convinced the defendant that the conduct was not prohibited. <laughs> now, let's see. The hypothetical defendant defense. <laughs> let's say I'm the hypothetical defendant of each and every time that you decided to fabricate a crime. I'm the one that has to go to a mental institution. Are you sure you're not going? I mean, out of 100 arrests, poach, 0.7 of them can't be restored. How many individuals in law enforcement cannot be restored because of their intent? Yes. To fail it and... Hypothetical. Defend it. Defense. Well, there is no such thing. Hypothetical question. The hypothetical uh -huh. negotiation. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, judicial construct, yes, mm -hmm. to calculate damages. Mm -hmm. Let's do a hypothetical damages for failure to uh, enforce the laws for two years and 11 months. <laughs> Let's say I got everything you own. <laughs> and you have a mental health evaluation from somebody that plagiarizes the president setting reasonings why you can or cannot be restored. <laughs> And you find yourself under the care of a psychiatrist that administers different types of psychotropic medications or psychotic, Brent. Or is that Brent? How? Well, what's your intent? Your intent was to either have me dead, yes, imprisoned, yes, or in a mental institution so that you would not get arrested for your intent, yes, of failing at enforcing the laws, and then you're making up of crimes that I didn't commit so that you would never get sued and you would never go to prison. Isn't that your real intent? <laughs> Have you ever heard of Mr. Hyde? There was an individual that, um, he was a doctor by day, but he was taking a certain serum, yes, uh, Jekyll and Hyde, yes. The same individual. Oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> now, let's say we have a Jekyll and Hyde problem. Yes. Uh -huh. You have to eat a certain amount of shit every day that you yourself had manufactured so as to keep yourself under control. <laughs> but if Dr. Jekyll mm -hmm. were to let Mr. Hyde out, <laughs> Mr. Hyde, mm -hmm. is the opposite of Dr. Jekyll. <laughs> Now, let's say we have Sheriff mm -hmm. Bill Benedict, which is known as Dr. Jekyll. <laughs> we can't let out. Mm -hmm. Sheriff Bill Hyde. <laughs> <laughs> now, quite often when you think of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, there is this possible... Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Well, listen, Dr. Jekyll. <laughs> exactly what caused the doctor to go deranged without anybody noticing. <laughs> now, I know. You don't want me to sue you. You don't want me as the victim to obligate you to have to have a mental health evaluation. <laughs> You don't want me to recommend the same mental health evaluation that you obligated me to talk to <laughs> without any jurisdiction or authority of law. Yes, mm -hmm. because you don't acknowledge forgeries. You don't acknowledge fraud. Oh! Now, Dr. Jekyll, being the good sheriff that he is, always looking fine, aren't you, Bill? Does have a certain amount of hide that he never releases? Mm -hmm. How about that handwriting? You know, a person's chirography, uh -huh. the cast or form of writing peculiar to a person, mm -hmm. including the size, shape, and style of letters. <laughs> and whatever gives individually to one's writing, often shorthand. <laughs> you know, I have some uh, samples of my own writing in here. <laughs> Let's look at it just for a second, okay? <laughs> Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. <laughs> I wrote this in jail. Oh, fear. Uh -huh. Terror. 
torture. <laughs> no jurisdiction obstruction of justice. Mm -hmm. Complicit mm -hmm. in depriving a citizen of civil rights. Uh huh. Uh, seeing fear uh, that my rights, mm, 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 mm. terror that the mm, judicial system is punishing me and my family. <laughs> Torture that the judicial uh, system tried to make it seem like I was insane. <laughs> what uh, they are while they're oh, while they're committing a crime. Oh, <laughs> the accusation that somebody's not mentally able to understand the nature of the crimes against them. <clears throat> this whole concept of mentally ill and mentally defective. <clears throat> you wanted it to seem like I was crazy when I informed you I wasn't in that city. <clears throat> You wouldn't admit the evidence that I didn't commit the crime. <laughs> For some reason, it's the judicial system that's what? <laughs> Dr. Jekyll. <laughs> Let's get some handwriting. Ouch. <laughs> Does your dog write just like you do? Because from what I've seen... <laughs> Seems to be very little writing in the police department. <laughs> you don't write police reports, but use traffic citations. <laughs> now this is person. Oh, oh who in, uh, has business interests that uh, oh, that would uh, quality control and uh, spirit, uh, associated business building? And tell me, you know that's my actual handwriting. Yes, it is. <laughs> now Doctor Jekyll writes one way, and Mister Hyde writes another. <laughs> 